Hi, I'm Ben with Battle Systems. Welcome to the assembly tutorial for the Raven's Keep Sewers. Before we get started, there's a few quick tips that will sure apply to almost any build. Quickly run through those now. For many builds, we'll use these plastic clips to put walls together and things. There's a range of different times, most of them are self-explanatory. There are a few that you should pay a little bit of attention to. Um, we have some slightly shorter versions of the straight clip. And these two in particular can look quite similar. As you can see, they build at different angles. And so if you're finding yourself getting a bit confused by how a corner is going together, because you've got two different types of clip and you need to use the correct one for it. The main difference between them is that one forms a right angle and the other doesn't. From time to time you might come across a slot which is a little too tight. It's a good idea to have a craft knife on hand for this sort of thing. And you can just slice down the edge of it to adjust the gap or another good tip is to use a pair of clippers and just snip and adjust and then you should find you have a nice neat fit. Some of our terrain has half cuts in it. This allows us to add things like opening doors or to create round shapes for things like barrels. The first time you bend these it's worth taking a little bit of time just to open it correctly. And if you can see here, for this door for example, you just need to make sure you support it the first time you open it to make sure that the bend happens in the correct place and then your door will open and close without causing any issues with the rest of the wall piece. For most of this work you're going to just be using your hands to pop out the sheets but it's useful to have some glue, some clippers, a craft knife and a cutting mat just to hand so you can do the certain parts which I'll show you as we go through. In this set we have two sheets of this kind of channel and two sheets of this kind of channel. We also have a sheet of sewer accessories. On the first sheet we have a selection of channels and some manhole covers and some sewer ends. The sewer sections are modular and can be assembled in any arrangement that takes you fancy, giving you tons of flexibility and options. It can be combined in any order. And then have these pieces here. Create a 3D look. It really brings it alive. And don't forget these sections are double-sided, so if you'd rather have a river of lava, you can just flip them over to the other side, and then these pieces also flip, so that the textures match. And then you can build away until you have the layout that you want. You could glue these sections on and make them permanent, but the problem with doing that is if you flip them over, they won't lie flat, and also you can't then use them on the other side. So if you think you're going to be permanently having it one side up, then that might be an option, but generally we'd recommend keeping them separate so you've got more flexibility. Also keep your eyes open for these drain areas. Those also come with their own section to create a 3D effect. And of course, that can be flipped over 
have a water side too. Also on this sheet are some manholes and these can just be placed almost like tokens anywhere you need them on your map. The last thing on this sheet is a sewer arch. It has two parts to it, a wall section and this three-dimensional element to create the arch itself. This has a number of half cuts along it. So we're just going to bend those through. Don't over bend them because you want to use the tension of the, the bend to hold it in place. Then once it's bent into an arch shape, you can attach it. These clips at the bottom. And then the tension of the bend itself will hold it in place. This is optional, but this is a piece where I might use a little bit of glue and store it with it glued solidly in place. The second sheet has a, another set of channels, an iron ladder, tunnel grate. There's a lever as well, so if you combine those things, you could create a nice little challenge. This time you have some curved sections you can add as well to make a little bit more interest to your, your designs. There's also a couple of pieces where you'll need to pop some of the bits of card out from inside to fully complete them. The other components on here can be assembled nice and simply. So the lever, for example, just slots in. This is one where I might stick a little bit of glue on it and then just put it in my box and it's already ready to go. The ladder uh, has a couple of little half cuts here, so we're just going to fold those through. And these just slot onto the wall. Just hooking on. Like so. And then you can put them wherever you want. And then we have the grate. And this just slides inside so you can take it in and out nice and easily. And it even leaves room for the sewer to flow underneath it. And then so that your adventurers aren't having to leap across the water every time, you've also got a few stepping stones that you can place wherever you fancy, creating a choke point or a crossing point, or however you fancy. The final sheet has a large drain, a small drain, a couple of chutes, a grate, and some scatter items. When you're popping these out, it's a good idea to keep track of which chute goes with which. So chute A and chute A and chute B and chute B just so that when you're assembling them, you know which goes where. Chute A has these parts, and the first thing you're going to need to do is to pop out these small areas here. So you have all these slots ready. Once you've popped out the slots, you need to attach the chute parts to the wall. We'll start with the top slot. And this one has some half cuts in it, so we're gonna bend those around. And there's a hook that allows it to be clipped in to the slot at the top of the wall. And one that slides into the wall, and that gives you the first part of it. And then we'll do the same for the other sections. bending the half cuts through, and then slotting them into the walls. And then once they're in, they hold quite nice and snug. But this is another component where I might stick a little bit of glue on it and just have it permanently held there and stored so that you can just pull it out of the box without having to wonder about where these parts have got to. Shoot B has these parts, and you need to take 
a look at these that look similar, you'll see one of them has a larger top than the other. Make sure you put these on the correct side. That means you put this one on this side and the smaller one goes on this side. Then they will slot, gently guiding this part, top part of the chute in, and then these parts will hook over the top. The bottom parts will hook it in and hold it nice and secure. The small drain is three pieces and you just place one on top of the other. Create the look you want. And you can also flip it. You have it the lava side up. Like so. The large train is made out of these parts. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to bend these half cuts round on this piece to make a circular wall to go around the edge. And then once we've bent it round to form a circle, we can then place these clips on into these little slots on the edge. And then these slide into these slots around the edge. We'll start with this one here, making sure we've left these T-shaped ones for the end. Then when it comes to the last one, place the clip in, and these parts slot in on either side and hold it in place. And then we can place the drain cover in. And it just sits on these rests here. Once that in, just make sure all of the parts are pushed in nice and firmly. And there you have your large drain. And of course, you can flip the uh, under part over and have a lava effect rather than a water effect. Also in this set you'll find some driftwood scattered terrain. Obviously you can scatter this around wherever you want it. There is one piece which requires a little bit of assembly and to do that you just fold it over to make a triangle and then slide the supports in. it forms a little pile and you can pile other items on it or just scatter those around within the rest of the sewer as you want. Now that your terrain is ready you can then combine it with your existing dungeon layouts. And it's as simple as taking these pieces and popping them in on the board and building out how you want it. I'll quickly show you how. And just like that, your dungeon is a sewer. Good luck to your adventurers. Just remember, don't fall in.